You see Twitter getting mad at Dunky? That's exactly what I wanted to talk about pretty soon. It's... Yep. I saw. Don't you worry. I saw. The comments were pretty sad. I saw multiple people say they hope he goes bankrupt. Yeah, I know. We'll talk about it in a sec. Give everyone a chance to trickle in. It's deplorable. That's like the most Twitter shit of all time. It's crazy. I don't know, Polar. It's hard to say. I don't think it's just Xenoblade fans shitting on Dunky, man. It's just general Twitter losers. Give me a minute, and then I'll hop on my soapbox. Okay, please. Just give me a second. Let people come in, so that way I don't have to keep repeating it. So I'm sure you all saw... Dunkey made his own indie publishing company. For 11 years, I've been guiding gamers through this minefield of weak-ass games and trying to bring them to the people who actually care about them. I'm I think overall it's a very positive thing. I think for a long time, game publishers have been very predatory on the developers that they have under their umbrella. Not all of them. I think Devolver does a really good job with their studios. Uh, I think there are some indie publishers that do a wonderful job with their teams, but... By and large, I'd say most publishers rather soulless, pretty out of touch, not in tune with the games they they have. And I think Dunkey has proven himself to be someone that understands quality. At least when it doesn't come to, <laughs> to JRPGs, I suppose. I like JRPGs, he hates them, is what it is. I'm not mad at him for it. Like, it doesn't bother me. Not everyone's gonna like the same shit I like. But I really think it's a very positive thing that Dunkey has put this forward to, to announce a project of this scale. And as with everything that's positive, Twitter had to find the worst interpretation of this imaginable. The amount of bad faith arguments I saw against Dunkey and his publishing company was mind-blowing. One of them had like 40,000 updutes, and it was a threat of this guy breaking down like, Man, Dunkey's... Dunkey just shits on games. All he does is shit on games. What is he going to possibly bring to a developer? This is fucking worthless. He, just because he plays games doesn't mean he understands good games. He's probably just going to abandon games. He can't finance the games. He's probably going to go bankrupt. Just like It was like nine tweets long. Just constantly replying to himself. And then eventually he's like, I bet he wouldn't even pick up my game. And then self-promote his own game. And then said at the end of it, he had the gall. He had the chutzpah to say in his last tweet, No hate to Dunkey though. Just saying. It was, it was shocking. It was, it was fucking shocking. Oh my god, that made me so mad. Like, it was, like he wasn't even making good points. He, would, he didn't make any good points. The company hasn't launched yet, and he's just making these massive assumptions about what's going to happen with it. Oh my god, that one made me upset. <laughs> I read every fucking unhinged tweet. And I saw that a lot on Twitter. That was the biggest one, though, by far. But a lot of people, for some reason, gave him so much shit for this, which, you know, you can doubt it. Like, you know, it's very hard to make a, a publishing company. You know, there's a reason why that not everyone is capable of doing it, right? It's not an easy undertaking. So it's fine to be doubtful and maybe a bit skeptical, but why not also be cautiously optimistic as opposed to just full-blown doomer to farm, like, controversial likes? It's, it's dumb, you know? Be like, yeah, oh, maybe, you know, maybe he doesn't always have bangers. But they, like, break down the entire video. It's like, oh, so Donkey said he's only going to publish good games. Yeah, that's impossible, Donkey. How dumb can you be? All of it just made me super upset. Because this, it's not controversial. Like, there's nothing controversial about him doing this. And yet they found a way to make it a huge issue for no reason. What's with Twitter versus Donkey? Uh, it all started with Final Fantasy VII Remake. He does not like JRPGs, really. Like, that's just not his cup of tea. And JRPG fans are some of the most passionately aggressive. So whenever he gives a less than favorable review or makes a like a, a, a video about one of them, they get very upset. And they hold a grudge forever. Bro, like, Genshin Twitter lives on Twitter. I don't think they do anything besides post on Twitter. And that extends to things like Xenoblade, Final Fantasy. So when he's making jokes about it, they get upset. And they stay upset forever. Oh, no, no, no. Genshin Impact was just an example I was using. I don't think Dunkey's ever said anything about Genshin. Not that I recall. If he did, he, he, he wouldn't be alive right now. If Dunkey made a video on Genshin the same way he did like Xenoblade, they'd have his head. They'd put that on a pike. Like, he'd be fucked. In fact, just before hopping on, like, well, like... 
20 or, 20 or so minutes before hopping on, I saw a Genshin Impact argument. The Genshin community was like, I love MILFs, or these are my favorite mommies from Genshin. And it was a picture of a bunch of Genshin characters, female characters, and they were supposed to be like older women. But every single woman on there was mid-20s, and one of them was 19. And someone was dunking on him like, oh yeah, here's the Genshin community thinking 19 and early 20 year olds are old. And then the comment section, a lot of people were defending why it's okay to be like married to 16 year olds and shit. It was a mess. It was a fucking mess. Like it was actual chaos. So if Dunky said anything about Genshin, things would have got weird quick. I want to make it clear, I don't think that's representative of the Genshin community. The defending being married to 16 year old thing. That was just an example of how messy that shit gets. You hear about the Dunky announcement from yesterday. What? <laughs> that's, that's that's what's up on the uh, on the screen right now, and what I've been talking about. Do you think this will have an impact on indie games? No, I think this is a very good thing. I think this is a very positive thing. I think Dunkey's publishing company is going to do great things. It's not going to like change the industry though. I expect they'll publish a few good games like per year. I think he's going to hyper focus on like good titles instead of like pump out a ton of them. I will say though, this video is kind of like an ad for the company. So a lot of like indie games have been like publicly begging for a donkey to pick them up under big mode. The games I've seen doing that are terrible. They are fucking atrocious. I truly hope he doesn't like actually take any of those. How bad? Oh fucking awful. Like the things we play on Steam new release bad game night. Like they looked absolutely uh, irredeemable what's the job of a publisher that game devs can't do themselves you know what i actually asked a couple of uh developers that question myself about eight months ago because i was unironically wondering how game publishing works as well so it seems like a lot of smaller studios don't even really bother with publishing anymore the main things that they offer is publicity as well as occasional financing for things that might be just out of their out of their budget like out of their ballpark seems to be the general consensus like they handle like um like if they need a, like a marketing push the publisher's responsibility is that so it takes it off the plate of the developer but even most of them they'll just post on tiktok for free and get plenty of bang for their marketing buck because it was fucking free it's supposed to handle distribution yeah but most of them just go through like steam or hio or something so distribution cost is pretty minimal. But for Big Mode in particular, what's going to really give them a strong edge against other publishers is Dunkey's audience. Giving a game the Dunkey seal of approval is unironically a huge driver of traffic. So if Big Mode puts it out like, here's one of our games. This is like our flagship title. This has the Dunkey bro fist of quality. People are going to buy the shit out of it. But it's gonna hinge. It's gonna have a huge impact on Big Mode going forward. Their first game has to slap, or else people are gonna lose faith. Because right now, Dunkey has a great reputation as a reviewer. I would say, outside of the JRPG fans, and he needs to be able to keep that. So if they publish a game that doesn't go hard, and they say it does, that's gonna be tough. Because he doesn't have the deep pockets that other publishers have. Right now, he has the audience that trust him to deliver a very good product. That's a lot of pressure. I know. And I'm sure he and Leah know it as well. They just need that first game to be very, very good. Why did you lie to us about Bayonetta 2? I didn't. I said I might play it this week. I had full intention to, but I didn't realize everything that came out this week, man. It's been a huge fucking week. And I could have never predicted all the drama. Are you kidding me? You out of your fucking mind? I will be playing Bayonetta 2, of course, before Bayonetta 3 comes out. Yeah, man, I just, I didn't know. On Big Mode Twitter, I think he tweeted the first game they'll publish. I highly doubt he announced the first game already. That, that'd that be like a cutthroat pace to already do that. Bro, that is them playing Phasmophobia. <laughs> How much money should I ask for in my next job? Uh, Go for six figures. I don't know what job you're applying for, but just fuck it. Shoot for the stars and then maybe like haggle your way down. <clears throat> He's offering QA, porting, and localization, which as a game dev, I can tell you having a publisher do that for you is a massive help. Yeah. I also read more that they do plan on doing more standard publishing things as well. So it's not just that. Like, I, I think it's a very good thing. I think there is, there's really no way 
it, to me that you can rationally spin this as a negative. I think this is only a net positive for indie games. And you can't convince me otherwise. Unless, of course, this turns out to be like a colossal failure, which I don't think it will with Dunkey and Leah at the helm. What is worst case? What is worst case with this company? The, the absolute worst case scenario is the first game they publish isn't good. Because then it ruins the, the goodwill and it ruins the perspective of only publishing like great games. So again, the pressure is entirely on to make the first game an absolute banger.